Good morning guys from the tree stand in the deer wood. Well this morning I thought I might make a video for you guys on how I add an external battery to my trail cameras so it prolongs being in video mode. Well this has been a very quiet boring morning in the woods. December 8th, 30 degrees, clear skies. It's supposed to be the secondary rut right now, but I have yet to see a deer all morning. About five squirrels is all I've seen. We got the pond down here. We got a clear shot 60 yards that way. And I'm sort of on top of a ridge. With a little valley, and I can see the ridge over there. And I have yet to see a deer. I got blown at on the way in. I got in about an hour and a half before light. But so, anyways, I thought I'd show you how I make my trail cameras work with a cheap external deep cycle sealed 12 volt battery. Same battery you use for feeders. You can pick them up at Tractor Supply. Unless something happens soon, I'm going to be climbing down out of here because the wind is supposed to pick up and that will really shut down any kind of activity for this supposedly secondary rut, which, I don't know, I've always almost thought that was a myth or that's all nocturnal because I never see any deer activity post rut. We're back on our build. My wife gets so mad at me because I won't throw anything away. She thinks she'd just throw it away and buy new, but all these old computer cords. Look at that. My Cody call the batteries got bad on it. But we found this cord is going to work great for our cameras and modem. Now we just need to find an end like that. So I'm sure we got one somewhere. Just start digging. Looky there. Don't really know what this what this is to, but that's all I need. Now you just go to tractor supply and go buy a 12 volt battery to run a deer feeder with. We're going to cut this wire here and we're going to put us two spade connectors and connect it to a battery. And that ought to work just fine. So I was in Tractor Supply and they have these batteries for your um, feeders, corn feeders for the deer. And this looks identical to me as what Moultrie wants $80 for. And if you look at the manual that comes with your feeders or with your trail cameras, it says that you must use a Moultrie 12 volt deep cycle sealed acid battery or you void your warranty. But to me, the battery looks just the same, and I'm going to try it anyways. Anyways, the connections that fit the bottom of your camera, if you look around your house, I'm finding them everywhere. This one went to a computer cyber acoustic sound system. Also, here's an old cable box. Same plug-in, fits right in the bottom of my Moultrie cameras. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these old plugs I don't use. Of course, this was an AC plug, but we're going to cut it right here. So we'll cut it right here, and we'll put us two spade connectors, or the opposite of spade, but we'll hook them up right here, and this will plug in straight to it. And I have a splitter here, but they're all over the house. Um, if you look, if you save these old ones, I also believe this is the same one that works in uh, same power fitting that works on your security cameras on my house. Plugs in just the same. Though one thing to note that the outside is positive and the inside is negative. A little bit of research on these plugs and I me measured them. You can order them, but they want ten dollars for them. Um, 
They're 2.1 millimeter by 5.5 millimeter. So if you've got any of these old things laying around, there's no reason you can't just plug this in here. $20 battery. Um, put it in an old, go to Harbor Freight, buy you an ammo box. That's my plan. I'm going to put this inside an ammo box, cut a hole in it, run the wire through the hole, put some silicone around it, and power all my cameras off these deep cycle batteries and they should last months. I use uh, Moultrie modems. They only, the, ba the eight batteries only last about a week so these things will pay for themselves in no time. Okay we're back. This is the build complete and this is what you'll need. You need a drill to drill a hole. I want to drill a hole under the lip so we don't have to worry about rain going in there. You're going to need an ohm meter to figure out which is positive and negative so you can hook it up right because the stripe on the wire is actually negative the way I have it wired up. You're going to need some wire crimpers to crimp you some connectors. You're going to need a wire cutter. You're going to need a razor blade to cut the styrofoam and I marked one of the wires, the positive wire, with some red tape and you're going to need some wire strippers. So this was off of a, I don't know, there, there's all kinds of cords around that'll fit this. You just have to look for them. You don't need to go buy them. If you look around your house, you can find them. So Harbor Freight, $5 ammo box, $15 battery from Tractor Supply. Put your two connections on there, run it through the hole there, I put styrofoam in there so it's not going to shift around. If any water does get in there, it's going to go down there. And there we go. 12 volt battery. It'll run your camera for two to three months. And simple little build. Takes about five minutes and you won't have to buy AA batteries again for your cameras. Works great. And if you have a double pigtail like this you run your modem and camera off the same battery box so you just take your boxes out there and switch the boxes out you can pack it out like this and you can hook a just a car battery charger at trickle on this your cameras will tell you the state of charge um, there's several other ways to check but your my your camera will notify you when you need to change the battery out so it's simple as that whole build cost twenty five dollars and when you're looking at twelve dollars for sixteen batteries it'll pay for itself in the matter of a month or two okay guys here's my setup my external battery it's right there wires coming out there under there so it'll be halfway protected it's off the ground to help keep the ants off of it from crawling in there I do recommend you tie a couple strings around it our biggest problem is going to be squirrels um, goes into my modem here goes into my camera there and it will work great I wish I had some more of this armored wire to help with the squirrels but that's one of your biggest nemesis is squirrels. Squirrels want to chew on stuff. So you want everything down so the water will run off of it when it rains. But the box is off the ground. And it's as simple as that. $25 and no more batteries. Might go ahead and tell it to transmit. Here we go, got a 100% battery, signal strength is 4 bars, battery life is good, transmitting all the pictures since this morning. So, what we're doing here, I don't know if you've seen the pictures, but there's a community scrape right here with these branches overhanging, see it right there, 
and my video is coming off that one there. So, so Wednesday, it's supposed to get down into the teens, but hopefully by next weekend is muzzle loading weekend, and that's when I'm going to start setting traps. I've been getting good video of a bobcat down around there on the point, and really lights up as soon as the sun sets with the coyotes, they're back. So we're going to start coyote trapping as soon as this cold spell leaves, because I don't want to deal with 10 degree temperatures and frozen traps. So I don't salt my traps, I just peat moss them. So after that freeze, they, in about a week, uh, or next weekend, I plan on putting steel in the ground, so should have some good videos for you then. Start catching some fur. So I come into work this morning and I'm looking for more cords. I'm calling people. I've got several people that are going to give me a couple. That same fitting fits this old TV that never, no longer works because we've gone digital. So same fitting that will fit your Moultrie cameras. And it's my understanding that every trail camera uses the same fitting, the same as your security cameras. Old computer, mo um, computer portable um, backup hard drive. Once again, same identical connector. Same identical connector goes into a weather radio. Our internet modem for DSL, same identical connection. The one difference you will notice between some of them is they have the outside as ground instead of it being positive like on the camera. So, But that's what you're going to use your own meter for to make sure you're hooking it up right. So here's three devices, uh, two of which are no longer being used. Um, that cord's long enough to go in an ammo box. So I'm sure you've got cords laying around. You just don't realize that there's no reason to go on Amazon or eBay to buy cords to run your trail cameras off of. They're laying all around the place.